Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're tuning in for the first time, then just know I am so happy to have you here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe to my channel and smack that notification bell so you know when I post new videos every week. Right now, I'm just getting some materials together. This includes watercolor paper, craft paper, cardstock, and dock grid notebook paper. I'm also going to be adding in a few other things, um, a cutting board, scissors, a ruler, needle, and hemp string, just to get myself started. I'm going to start by pulling out some pieces from my Dockered notebook. I'm not going to make it too perfect because I'm going to be trimming it down to the appropriate size shortly. Now that I have my desired amount of pages pulled, I'm going to go ahead and start measuring them. I'm doing about 8 inches by 10 inches and change, just so that way I have a little bit of extra space just in case I want to trim it down further later. With my pages trimmed down to the size that I need it to be, I'm going to go ahead and start folding everything in half and just placing them off to the side for now. I'll be putting them together in a little booklet in just a moment. Once all the pages are put together, I'm going to go ahead and measure out three holes. One's going to be one inch down, one will be four inches down, and the final one will be seven inches down. Once I have my holes created, I'm going to go ahead and sew them together using a little figure eight pattern. Keep in mind how big you make the holes before you start sewing. I had a little bit of difficulty because my needle was still slightly wider than the holes that I had made. Once your needle makes its way to the starting point again, go ahead and just tie it off in a little knot and cut off the excess string. Now that all my pages have been sewn, I can get to work on my cover. Usually I would sew the cover alongside the rest of my pages and my inserts. I just wanted to try something a little bit different. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm again going to measure out my cardstock, this time a little bit larger than my insert pages. I'm still going to cut it down to size. From here, I'm going to take some craft paper and cover the entirety of the cardstock. Once my cardstock is glued down, I'm going to trim the corners of the craft paper. That way, when I glue, it won't look so bulky. Next up, 
Once everything's glued down, it's time to glue the cover onto my insert. But first, I'll give it a quick fold in half. With the insert nearly complete, I'm just trimming down the inside pages to give it a more finished look. Now on to the final stages. I'm just grabbing some water, my watercolor brush, of course my watercolors, and a little piece of paper so I can decorate the outside of my cover. You'll see in just a moment why it's so important that I have my own booklet for what I'm about to plan. I'm very pleased with how this insert turned out. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's going to be just right for when I get ready to plan for my big day. Of course, I was already starting to run low on sticky notes anyway. Let me know if you like these voiceovers, because if not, you can't stand my chipmunk voice, I promise I'll be quiet again in no time. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.